Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today we're going to be checking out the Sam's Beadbox subscription for the month of June 2023 with the theme called Below the Waves. If you like what you see inside this one and you want to sign up, I do have the link for the subscription right down below the video in the description section. And there's also a coupon code that will save you $5 off your first box. That coupon is ORCHID, O-R-C-H-I-D, and that'll be left right down below as well. Be sure to check out their website for all the details you need to know about signing up, including the shipping. Unfortunately, they do ship internationally. If you're outside the U.S., you can find out what that rate will be by starting to go through the checkout process, and that will just depend on your location. Every month, this box has a unique theme that the beads are centered around, which also means a change in color palette, so you're not going to get the same things back to back. And inside, you're going to find primarily really high quality check glass beads, some additional gemstone beads and components, and a couple of metallic accents or findings. I highly recommend the sub too if you are a fan of bead stringing, but there's also a lot of stuff in here too that can get you involved in a little bead weaving as well. I always like to have fun with that, so we'll see what's in store this time, and I cannot wait to see what the color palette looks like and what's inside. So the first page of our insert talks about the inspiration behind the Below the Waves theme. It looks like the Great Barrier Reef, of course, in Australia was a big part of the inspiration. It says that they were able to go there over 10 years ago and do some snorkeling. And I can't even imagine how cool that would have been. That's definitely got to be a once in a lifetime trip. So further down, it says for the June theme, they're taking us below the waves with a palette inspired by coral reefs. There's going to be bright hues, specialty mixed glass, and multi-tone finishes that paint a shimmering underwater landscape. On these inserts, you can also find some pertinent dates for different workshops and events that are going on with Sam's Bead Box and fellow subscribers, and also their bead shop, which corresponds to this subscription, but has a ton of other beautiful items similar to this for sale. And you can also sign up at joinsamsbeadshop.com to be a part of their text list and be in the know when it comes to upcoming events. On our second page, we have the complete list of everything we're going to be taking a look at today, starting with the strand selections at the top. And it says that our retail value of everything packaged up is $89. So you are getting some savings over retail value by signing up to these packages. Not to mention they put a ton of thought and work behind picking out all of these great items that are going to coordinate together. You can make multiple pieces just from the contents you receive in one month's package. And they always make for a really fun and inspiring surprise in the mail. So let's go ahead and take a peek at our contents. And as we can already see, they've put together a stunning package in a rainbow of colors to reflect the ocean reef theme, both the fish and the coral and everything else that's living down there. And we're going to start out by taking a look at the strands. All right, we're going to start out with a stunner. This is a strand of Indian cut Labradorite faceted rondelles. So we have some gemstone beads to start off our package. This is what this one looks like. We've got some beautiful, I think it's chatoyancy is what it's called when you see those flashes of blue that show up in the Labradorite every so often. So gorgeous and definitely reminds me of what you see in a lot of sea life, especially the way some are able to adjust their colors. And we have that subtle shimmer of fish scales. The sizes of these range from about 7 to 9 millimeters. And the faceting is located on the outside of these rounded discs with flat faces on either side. Our second strand contains the Czech Glass Druck Pressed Rounds in Ocean Glow. 
These are the eight millimeter rounds with 16 pieces on the strand. And in this selection, there is a subtle shift going from the purple to the more teal and a little bit of aqua as well that appears to be on the outer coating and still leaving a lot of transparency. Our third selection is another fun mix with the purple and fuchsia melon drop beads. Eight pieces on this one. These are the eight by 13 millimeter size. They've got that ribbed or textured exterior and also that shift between the purple and the fuchsia that happens on every single bead. So you're getting to peek at some subtle variations of color. And again, letting a lot of the light shine through that colorful coating. This next strand coordinates beautifully with those drops in particular. These are the Czech Glass Fire Polish Faceted Rounds in the Purple and Fuchsia mixture. We have 16 pieces included on this one, and they are in the 8mm round size as well. And just like those drops, they shift from pink to purple all around the surface, along with the transparency and the light to shine through, showing off those faceted colorful rounds. I'm in love with this next strand containing the Indian Cut Strawberry Quartz Faceted Heart Brio Beads. It says there's 12 pieces on this one, approximately 8 to 10 millimeters in their sizing. And you can see how they have the hole going across the top, which has a bit of a point to it. And all the faceting that shows up on the surface, both the front and the back of these cherry quartz beads. So another strand of genuine stone material in this very special cut brio shape. And then a perfect addition, which is the mermaid glass smooth rounds. This one has quartz in quotes. These are man-made, of course. And this is called the ocean mix. So we have the main range of colors that we see in our theme and palette this month, the blue, green, and magenta all coming together in this strand and these having a really beautiful reflective quality that comes from within the center of the bead and catches the light so beautifully, reflecting off the interior. And our final strand is one containing the Czech Glass Melon Beads in the Orange Coral Crystal Mix. These are a six millimeter size with 25 pieces contained on the strand. And it says on the list that they will likely contain some air bubbles and a few may be just a little bit more freeform in terms of their shape, but overall they're pretty consistent and bring us another fun mix of colors that come together on these smaller rounds with their rib texture, kind of like we saw in the teardrops and lots of that juicy transparency as well. And for this next section with our bags, we begin with one containing the Czech Glass Art Deco Oval Beads in the Orange Coral Mix. We have four pieces included in this 12 by 16 and a half millimeter size. And here they are. So we have this larger oval shape with the pressed detail and a little bit of a burnt orange or copper color that seems to be washed over the top and settling into that fanned out shape. And depending on where you're looking at these beads, you're seeing some hints of yellow along with a lot of orange and the glass itself being transparent underneath, hole going up and down through the center of the length of the beads. And these are ones that coordinate really, really well with the melons in particular that we just took a look at last in our strand section. Our next bag contains a mixture of different things. We have 11 pieces included in dark sapphire and stone Picasso. So we've got three different styles two of them in that dark sapphire we have the fire polish rounds in what looks to be about a 10 millimeter size and then we have two of those cone shaped beads which are really interesting and go well with that color reminds me of some deep royal blue water and then we have these spiral shaped beads 
which are in the stone Picasso, more of that sandy neutral color and that shell-like design with the hole there going up and down through the center of those discs. And we have two pieces in this next bag, the check glass laser etched seahorse and turtle. Those are really cute, especially the sea turtle. It's got this iridescent metallic highlight to that sea turtle shape. There's a look at where the hole placement is, and that's on the opaque turquoise glass. And also in opaque turquoise underneath, we have the seahorse design, which is surrounded by that sort of electroplated finish in that deep violet and bluish metallic. There's a look at the hole placement on that one going up and down through the center of that bead. Both of these with the locations so you can easily see those etched designs when you string them on. Next up we have a mixture of the silver lined check glass preciosa peanut beads and there's a total of 18 grams in this bag. And it looks like there's four different colors in this ocean mix from that medium green. There's aqua, some more of the dark sapphire color, and also some crystal clear and the silver lining inside giving those the additional reflective property that you can see shining through either side where the glass is bubbled up surrounding the hole. And these are a lot of fun to work with. I have a recent tutorial that went along with the kit that I made based on one of the Sam's Bead boxes a few months ago. If you look up the Majesty Pendant tutorial, you may be able to make something similar along with this selection. Up next, we have a bag containing four pieces of the Czech Aqua and Sapphire AB fish beads. These are the 11 by 24 millimeter size. And as you can see, they have a lot of detail on them too, and the iridescent coating that shows up on one side of these beads. And it looks like there's two different colors. We have the aqua and also the sapphire blue. And even the other side where it doesn't have the coating, that reflective surface comes through and makes it look a bit backlit. And it does say on the list the fish colors will vary, so it's possible you'll get these colors or maybe something else depending on what was scooped up in your bag. I just love how that coating brings out those fish scales. Here we have a bag containing some of the check glass ovals in the ocean crackle mix. Nine by 12 millimeters is the size with about 16 pieces included. And this is another one where the mixture may vary a little bit. You should get these four different colors, the blue, the deep aqua, we have some of that sage green and some of that lavender colored glass, all with that crackling effect inside and having a smooth and glossy surface that is the same on both the front and the back of these ovals. And again, with all these mixtures, you can separate out the colors or use them together as they are provided. That's up to you, but there's a number of different directions you can go in color-wise with this palette. Our next selection contains three mixed pieces of the Puffed Coin Lampwork Beads in Blue Zircon and Lavender Amethyst. And these are all going to vary slightly from bead to bead too because they are a handmade item, these lampwork beads. So there's going to be some slight imperfections on some of them and that's listed on the insert as well. They're all meant to look generally about the same, but no two beads are going to be exactly identical, kind of like fingerprints. So we have these ovals with a sort of duo color teal and purple variation looking very similar on either side. And that slightly larger hole that we usually see with the lampwork beads and more opaque as you get towards the center of those circles. And also I just want to point out because we have one that's larger and two that are smaller, you could make a necklace set with coordinating earrings maybe using those three beads. So 
Like I usually say with these boxes, and I shared that previously in my couple of how I design with Sam's bead box videos, which I will try to link in the corner, a lot of times I'll start out with some of the focal pieces or the larger beads and begin creating something new based around those items. So that's something I would probably do with those. And up next here is a bag containing eight of the Czech Glass Bill Brio beads in the underwater glow mix, eight by 17 and a half millimeter. And that is another really interesting mix. Lots of colors going on. Those transparent ones that really mix well with some of the strands that we took a look at earlier, having the shift from purple to magenta in some of those down there at the bottom, and some shifting from a green to a blue or a purplish. And then the lovely opaque pinkish ones with the additional finish those would sort of coordinate well with the stone Picasso spiral beads because these have a similar finish on them too. So this brings in another very interesting shape. You can see why they're called the bill beads, looking like a duck bill or perhaps platypus. So they would hang down in a drop style if you were to string them on since they have that hole that's located up there toward that wider round top. And our next few bags bring in a little bit more green so we can think of our like seed weed maybe to this palette. We've got the Czech Glass Druck Round Beads in Green Opal, the six millimeter size with about 30 pieces in the bag. These are sort of a minty or seafoam green, not quite opaque with that opal glass. You can just slightly see the hole running through the center. And these provide another size of a basic round shape. So as usual with the mixture of items in different shapes and sizes, it helps us to put multiple things together in a very cohesive way. So these bring us some smaller rounds. We had some larger rounds on our strands and also a little bit more green. And here we have a bag containing six pieces of the Crystal AB in green slash white silk mix Czech glass sea turtle beads. And again, this bag will contain both of those varieties. It's been a while since I've seen these turtles. Another really detailed Czech glass pressed bead shape that's out there and one that's very appropriate for our theme. And I have those two different color choices separated and also one of those turtles on its back so you can see the bead from all angles. The top where the shell is located has a lot of the details, especially when you see it in the AB coating with its rainbow of colors and reflective shine. And then our green ones there are in a shade of olive and have perhaps a lighter green or could be what is actually white inside that breaks up that olive green color a little bit in the center. And we have yet another mix and another unique shape with the eight millimeter check glass leaves in the Crystal AB and Peridot slash Amber mix. So these are like a three leaf pressed shape. And again, the AB coating on the crystal clear makes those press details a lot more visible. The holes also going through the center of the bead, kind of from one of those leaves there and out through the other side. The ones with the crystal AB, they have the coating just on one side, but you still see a little hint of that from the other. And the Peridot and Amber, just like the name says, are a light mix of the two different colors, but pretty subtle. And then last for our beads, we have a tube of the Toho size 11 round seed beads in the silver lined crystal, looking like our bubbles in that very versatile variety that you could use to space out some of the beads here or use in something like a little bead weaving project or even embroidery with all of those really interesting check glass shapes. If you're into that, it's a great opportunity to use some of those sea creatures and things as well maybe make a mixed media type of a piece. And this variety is perfect to go with all of our very vibrant colors that we've seen in this month's package. 
In our last bag, we have the metallic components called the Under the Sea Collection. And these are some of the high quality Greek findings made with antique silver plating. As it says, they're lead free. We're going to see a seahorse pendant, two starfish charms, and two shell charms. I wanted to hold this seahorse up because not only is it very detailed, it's got a lot of dimension, but it's also open in so many of these different areas. If I just turn that, you can see it from all sides and it looks great from all angles. So that's our pendant to get us started. Here are the two starfish charms with a bunch of texture there. Here's a look at the other side and some very substantial areas there where the loops are located. I think these would be beautiful incorporated in a pair of earrings. And last but not least are two shell charms, which are really lovely in this corkscrew shape and remind me of some of the shells that I had collected at Sanibel Island. So that's really cool. And these two look gorgeous from all sides with that twisted shape. And again, a very substantial loop located at the top. And that is our Below the Waves Sam's Bead Box for June 2023. Sorry, I'm a little bit later putting this video up, but I hope you still enjoy checking out the contents. I know I have. It's always a treat to see what the Sam's team has put together for us. And this is, again, something much different than we have received thus far, making it a very happy and colorful surprise, especially on a day like today where I'm located. We're getting a lot of rain and a lot of storms rolling through. I love the variety here and the thought behind all that's been put together for us. I'm seeing tons of design possibilities from what's here on the bead mat, and I hope you are too. And if you're a subscriber to their box and want some more inspiration, or just want to follow along with them, be sure to follow along with their social media, because like I said, they have different workshops and events, and will sometimes share some finished pieces from different artists that might be able to inspire you with the contents that you see here or have personally received. So if you'd like to sign up for this box, don't forget the link is down below and also that coupon code ORCHID to save $5 off your first box. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this selection or anything else you'd like to say. It's always great to hear from you. If you enjoyed checking out these items up close, definitely give the video a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe while you're here. And if you'd like to see more of these Sam's Bead boxes that have arrived in the past, you can check out my playlist and get an even better feel for the types of things that you can expect. That's all for now, though. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll see you all next time. And until then, as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.